The Copyright Act covers what are called subject matter other than works in Part 4 of the Act. This part protects the investment of resources in the production of media and content. Copyright in other subject matter subsists in addition to and independent of any copyright subsisting in Part 3 works. There are four categories of other subject matter and they are set out in sections 89 to 92 of the Copyright Act. The first category is sound recordings. Sound recording is defined in section 10 to mean the aggregate of the sounds embodied in a record. Record, in turn, is defined as a disc, tape, paper, electronic file or other device in which sounds are embodied. Thus, a sound recording may be embodied on a vinyl record, a cassette tape, a CD, or as an MP3 or other digital file. Copyright in a sound recording is separate from the copyright in any underlying musical work. The second category is cinemagraph films. These are defined in section 10 as the aggregate of the visual images embodied in an article or thing, so as to be capable of being shown as a moving picture. It includes the visual images and the associated sounds. Cinemagraph films do not have to be your standard feature length film. The category includes things like YouTube clips, and it was held in Galaxy Electronics and Sega Enterprises to also include the moving images in a computer-generated video game. The third category covers television and sound broadcasts. The latter will generally be radio broadcasts. Television broadcasts are simply defined as visual images broadcast by way of television together with any associated sounds and sound broadcasts are those broadcasts other than television broadcasts. Broadcast is defined to mean a communication to the public delivered by a broadcasting service within the meaning of the Broadcasting Services Act 1992. It does not include on-demand point-to-point services such as videos on demand or dial-up services. The broadcast must be to the public. This can be to the public at large or to a section of the public. The court will look to the copyright owner's public as determined by the character of the audience and the intent of the transmission. The relevant case is Telstra and Australasian Performing Rights Association, also known as APRA. In that case, the court held that music transmitted to mobile telephones while people were on hold was a broadcast to the public even though the public might be small. For broadcasts, there is no requirement that the underlying material has copyright protection. Therefore, there may be broadcast copyright in the transmission of a live interview or a live sports game, even though the material broadcast is not copyrightable on its own. The other relevant case for broadcasts is Network 10 and Channel 9, known as the Panel Case. There, the High Court held that a single image appearing on a TV screen together with the accompanying audio is not a discrete television broadcast. Entire programs will clearly be broadcasts, as will advertisements. However, the Court did not clearly decide on whether individual segments or stories in a news broadcast will be separate TV broadcasts for copyright purposes. The last category is published editions. This category protects the presentation, typographical arrangement and layout of printed works such as newspapers and books. Copyright in the published edition exists separately to any copyright in the underlying literary work.